Hey, it's Del from Let's Get Inky and today I've got something different to show you. So I'm working on a new project. It's called The 100 Day Project. You may have heard of it before. If you haven't, I'll put the link to the, the overall website, I guess, uh, down below, below. So basically, it starts today and you pick something creative to do for 100 days. So I have never tried it before, but I... I don't know this year just feels right oh my goodness we're okay so we're having a storm at the moment which of course is the best time to film a video but Archie's asleep and it's the best I can do so I'm sorry if there's a few lightning um, and thunder cracks around so this year I have decided to repurpose this little traveler's notebook that I bought uh, from the traveler's notebook company it's in the passport size and I bought it last year to use as a diary and alas used it for two months and it didn't stick so I thought this would be a really nice cover to use because I've got my I am going to do a video on this I've got my diary which I absolutely love um, so I am going to do a video in the future about that but otherwise this cover will just be sitting around just doing nothing uh, so it's got two elastics and I'm going to make a bit of a junk journal I've got some I've got a golden book I've got some random papers and paper pads that just need using up and some uh, bags and envelopes and all sorts of things and I'm just going to staple them together turn it into a little mini journal and I'm going to write a letter to Archie every single day it might just be a sentence it might be a page uh, just a little something so you know like today I might say something like dear Archie today we went down and you went into the went to the beach for the first time you love the water blah 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 just something cute and sentimental that I can give to him in years to come so that's my plan I thought I'd just quickly show you my tips and tricks as to how I'm getting started uh, the 100 day project does have an email system that if you sign up they send you uh, like motivational posts and Q&A's uh, an interview series with different artists and it was created I'll show you the Instagrams whoa that was a big crack of thunder <laughs> uh, it was created by L Luna and Lindsay Jean Thompson so if you want to follow their Instagrams you'll get a lot more information but I've decided I'm hopefully I'm filming this on the 2nd of April it starts on the 3rd of April so hopefully I can get this edited and up tomorrow uh, and I will be posting my progress over on Instagram over on my Inky Quill Instagram so make sure you follow me over there so I've got my papers off camera because it's going to take a while I'm going to put together some little booklets I've also got this little container because uh, over on Patreon I did a video at the start of the year with my scrappy resolutions and one of them was to use my stamps more often. So I've grabbed just a bunch of all my little stamps. So there's a lot of citrus twist ones here. Uh, there's also some scraptastic ones from when I was in on the design team. And then I've got two wooden alphabets. I've got this one which is from Kelly Perky and then this little one which oh uh, it's it's some sort of Chinese I think I got it in a like a boutique little stationery shop so I, I can't link you to that sorry um, but just I've just grabbed any little stamps I can and I also grabbed these two larger ones this one's all about babies first things so you know on the move toothy grin play date that kind of thing and then I thought this one was good because it had the days of the week and then this really handy little check list um, if I wanted and just a few words like note to self details mental note FYI to do remember those types of things that I might need to use so I'm limiting my supplies after the papers all in to this and I've also got I've got this container of embellishments which <laughs> in all honesty I forgot about uh, I packed it for a retreat probably two, a year and a half two years ago before I was pregnant yeah so let's go two years ago and I completely forgot about it but it's got some little like 
bits and pieces there's some crepe paper embellishments just little cute things so I think I don't know if I'm going to keep it in here or I'm because some of the things I can't use like this this a whole section here for resin bits and they're too thick and the frames I probably would only use some of the really skinny ones so I may transfer just a smaller amount into this little container here and that's it of course an, an ink pad so that the stamps are usable but that's it um, and then I'm just going to grab this which is my little tin that has my uh, Stadler pigment liners, stapler, scissors, hardy shine, glue, and it usually has a double-sided sticky tape uh, roll just perched on top of it. And that's all I'm going to limit it to. So I think that's one big tip is to gather your supplies and kind of get started before you jump into the project. So that's why I'm hoping I can get this video started, edited and uploaded tomorrow morning. So if you want to get started with it, you can. Um, my tip is don't feel disheartened if you miss a day. It's okay. No one's going to fire you or you're not going to lose your creative license to make stuff. Um, just hop back on the horse the next day see how you go and make it manageable so that's why I think that if I if I pre-make these little journal inserts to put in here then every day some days all I might be able to do is grab a pen and write two sentences shut it and I'm done other days I might have a bit more time and let's uh, let's be honest I might not be as lazy and I might be able to stick a few things down and make it a little bit prettier and maybe even stick a photo in who knows but i'm making it manageable so i'll show you the book once it's made da, 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 da. it's done i spent last night we had a beautiful thunderstorm and it was the, the day before the 100 day project started uh, and so last night i sat on the couch and i made four little cute books and what i've done because there were only two um st strings two I'm sure they have a proper name in the Traveller's Notebook community. Uh, what I have done is I made four little booklets because they, they did get a lot thicker than I realised they were going to. And I connected them with an elastic band. So I just got one big chunky elastic band and put it through the centre of both of them. And that way you can get a little bit more into your Traveller's Notebook. So I'll show you one of them. For example... So I just used a variety of uh, double-sided scrapbook papers, single-sided scrapbook papers, book pages, a few little bags, some, uh, what do you call it, pitch books, some kids' books, some school paper, note paper. There's a few little bits that flap out. And I think it's going to be really fun to to have a have a go at these now I don't actually know how many I will need so the reason I made four because that way I don't have to have the excuse of oh, I ran out of space and I don't have time to make another one uh, this way I've got four I'm hoping that it only takes three because they are quite chunky as it is a lot of that reason is because I did use quite a lot of scrapbooking paper and the unfortunately I used my good paper because it's pretty and I didn't use the thin stuff so next time I'd probably use less scrapbooking paper but it just makes it so so pretty um, so that's that done I don't know if I'm going to keep all of I may actually take out these N2 just to make it a bit easier to work in to start off with yeah I think I'll just take out those two just to make it a little bit easier then along with that I have put together this little container of embellishments so there's just a whole lot of random bits that I took out of that large container that I had uh, and then the same on this side it's just all little there's quite a few older crepe paper collections in there in this little parcel I have some doilies little envelopes and little bags so they're staying together I need a clip for that actually to keep it together so I've got this I've got my stamps and I've added the Heidi Swap date stamp because I'm going to put that on every single day 
I've also added uh, my typewriter, my electronic typewriter. I'm not going to type every single day, just every you know couple of days, just because I love the, the look of it. So I've typed the first day. The first day is like the opening page, I guess you could say. And I've got this little photo of um, Archie that I just found in the drawer where the typewriter was, uh, which doesn't belong there. And so I think I'm just going to stick it on that side and then cut out my my first little letter and put it on this side with the date. Uh, so I might quickly speed this process up for you and do a little bit of a voiceover for you. And then if you'd like to, I'll put the link in the description box if you'd like the, to know more about the 100 Day Project. It's totally free. They do have a special like class program type thing. Um, I think it's $500, which is quite out of my price range. So I'm not doing the class. I'm just going along. You don't need to do the class, they say, on the website to do um, the 100 Day Project. So I'm just choosing... My goodness, birds, you are noisy today. I'm just choosing a project to do for 100 days and and that's exactly what you can do at home uh, to play along so also one other thing there was something else I had to tell you oh if you want to follow my progress on this I'll be posting every day on my or let's not say every day Adele every couple of days on my inky quill Instagram and I've also used the hashtag I think it was what did I decide I think it was a hundred inky days yep 100 inky days is my hashtag so if you type that in you'll be able to see them all together and not have to go through my feed to find them um but i'm going to do the first page i'm excited let's see how it goes i did accidentally forget about this little envelope that i snuck at the back of the stamp containers so this can this envelope basically holds all of the off cuts because the size of the uh, paper that i needed to make the little journals the every sheet had a good extra maybe it's about a five by five inch square or so so I've put them all in an envelope so that I can use them as layering pieces behind uh, some of my journaling some of my letters and it's just nice and handy to have it all together in this one little envelope so that bits and pieces won't get lost I did consider putting these pieces in that other container that has the embellishments in it but I decided it they would it would just be too much of a, a kerfuffle really I have taken out the extra two journals and I'm trying to slip it in here and it's just not working. So they're going to have to just be stored elsewhere. So step one that I sneakily did before I filmed the last part was that I typed up my letter for today for the first day and I'm not going to type every single day but I just wanted the first one to be typed plus it was a bit of a lengthy one it was kind of um, why I wanted to do this project for Archie and I thought that it would be a lot clearer typewritten rather than handwritten so I grabbed this photo and it's not I think this photo was taken a good so oh, probably six or seven months ago and I just I love it he Archie's wearing a Superman uh, onesie underneath a little red um, plaid shirt and some little jeans that beautiful subscriber Alice gave us and I put on a, a pair of dress up glasses that don't have uh, prescription lenses in them they're just plain glasses and he just looks so hilarious he looks like a little a little secret superman so what I did is I cut my journaling into strips first of all uh, and I just hand cut them because ain't nobody got time for a paper trimmer with this project it's I'm really focusing on making this project quick easy achievable and not worrying about everything being absolutely perfect so then I was looking at this heart paper and it's quite busy and I felt like I needed something behind it so I decided to go with a bit of paint I just grabbed the I think it's midnight blue I think that's the name of it the dilutions paint and as you can see I'm not making it completely opaque I'm just doing a nice thin coat and it really does help make the the letter per se uh, pop out a lot easier so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going through the embellishments, seeing if there's anything that takes my fancy straight away. Uh, I love gold arrows and I thought that it would be a great thing to put at the start of the journal because it's like leading the eye to turn the page and to continue reading. 
this little one says you are so funny and here's a little little funny face so I glued this one down the bottom and these embellishments they're all they're probably all at least two years old just random bits and pieces so I, I won't go into where each one of the little embellishments that I use is from because you probably won't be able to find it anywhere but this project the the 100 day project is all about using up your stash and um, just being creative so you can do whatever you like so here I decide to do the date and I'm using that Heidi Swap uh, stamp and I was considering stamping it on a piece of paper first but then there was this white space at the top of that left hand page and I decided to do it there and because I only get one chance at this uh, I don't want to stuff it up so I took the journal out so that I could get a nice hard surface underneath and um, make sure that the stamp didn't stuff up basically I'm adding a bit of a doodly border here and this bulldog clip is coming really handy because these journals are already so thick and puffy uh, which I love I'm, I'm really excited for them to be finished because they're going to be giant uh, but I do think that the bulldog clip does really help when I'm working on a page added a doodly border and then I felt like it needed a bit of black up in this left hand side so I just hand drew a few hearts nothing fancy and then I felt like it needed something else black it was missing something that that you are so funny needed something but I wasn't sure what also another thing that I was just umming and ahhing about when I was looking at those alphabet stamps I was partially tempted to number the letters so number you know this is letter number one letter number two but I decided against it because I am going to put the date on each uh, page and so I felt like by numbering it I was kind of double I don't know double documenting I guess not that there's anything wrong with that but uh, it just felt a bit unnecessary so I added those little stars and it's all done so this was I would call a long page uh, because I did do the paint and the mixed media but I had a bit of time and I'm feeling extra motivated at the start of this project but like I said earlier in the video other days I might just grab some things I could easily do this on another page as well so this have a look at how quickly I finished the front cover it's simply a doily and a DIY embellishment that I've already Already made stuck on the front um, if you want to know more about DIY embellishments by the way you should check out my main channel inky quill because I have a few videos over there making some DIY embellishments and I also have some over on my patreon as well um, but they're, they're really going to come in handy I think for this project so that I can just quickly grab them and get going with them thanks so much for joining me today we're approaching the end of the video um, please let me know in the comments if you are joining in on the 100 day challenge 100 day project challenge uh, and I really look forward to sharing this with you over on Instagram and I might do a flip through over here on let's get inky maybe some process videos in the future I'll see you all next time don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and bye